Welcome to Sports Map Houston. I'm Vanessa Richardson. That man is my co-host, Paul Gallant. You can catch us, of course, on Vanessa and Gallant from 10 to noon daily on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5 ESPN app. Twitch, we're everywhere, baby. Over the weekend, our own John Granado, who's on before us, tweeted, quote, Urquidy is without question this team's third starter. He's been fantastic for months now, end quote. That's high praise, Paul, on a team that is the lowest team ERA in the American League. So if you were setting up the playoff rotation, if you're Dusty Baker, would you have Jose Urquidy starting game three? That's interesting because it really depends on what you're going to do with Lance McCullers, right? Are you going to put Lance McCullers back in at the top? Does that mean that you slide Urquidy down? Because I think that you could make a pretty strong case that McCullers could be or should be your number three guy. I think with what we have seen from Fran Valdez this year means he's firmly your number two. Justin Verlander is your number one. But Urquidy has been incredibly consistent. And most recently, after a little bit of a shaky first inning, he is able to get things back on track and help out a bullpen that over this road trip against Chicago and Atlanta. Atlanta had dealt with a lot. They worked a lot, uh, heavy usage, and they needed Rikidi to step up. This is a pitching staff that is very spoiled. They have weapons, you know, pretty much everywhere. But we've seen a little bit of an inconsistency from Luis Garcia. Are you concerned with Luis Garcia? I mean, you know, a lot of these guys go through these stretches over the course of the season. I, I wonder when someone's being inconsistent like that, what's your alternative use for him? come postseason is he your long reliever or something like that do you use him in high leverage spots but yeah he did have a stretch earlier this year where he was striking out close to 10 people a night and obviously that has not been the case of late so yeah as far as you know the circle of trust who's in and who's out uh garcia has slid out for now urquidy's in there i think framber is in there verlander's in there mccullers too like i like what we've seen thus far but I think has to prove that he can first off be consistent, but second, right. stay healthy. Mc- yeah, McCullers hasn't really shown a lot of rust, which I, I thought he would have some rust, and he really hasn't. This weekend, the bullpen really stressed me out. We saw mm-hmm. Montero, Stanek, Presley, Naris, just not what we're used to seeing with the strong bullpen. Are you surprised to see the bullpen struggle the way it has as of late? Well, uh, there, are, there are statistics you can bring up that would explain it They've pitched a lot recently. I think they pitched 16 innings over the road trip. Uh, for those who care about batting average on balls in play, which is one of those advanced statistics. Yeah. stats guy. They've had a lot of bad luck. I think that the bullpen of late has had a batting average on balls in play allowed of 344. So that means that balls are just finding the right spots in the infield and the outfield to get, of course, hits. Um I, I think right now, yeah, you're not thrilled with it, but over the course of the season, I mean, they've been one of the best bullpens in baseball. I am with you, though, in that no matter how a bullpen statistically might look, it is entirely a different feel when you watch the right. games. And sorry to bring up vibes, but <laughs> when I see Rafael Gen Montero Z-Paul. out there, I think about the guy who pitched in Seattle, and I'm scared you know what I I'm just wondering what the heck's going to happen next with him out there, even though he's been pretty good this year. Well, the funny thing is earlier, the, a couple months ago on the Astros pregame show, I had talked about how Montero was a steal because at that point he was being really dominant. That's different from what you saw yeah. in Seattle and kind of different from what we're seeing now. Yeah, it is. It, look, it, the good news is they have Ryan Presley. They have used him in a way that I described on our show where he's like the weekend car. Like they don't they don't use him a lot, but I think come playoff time they're going to use him um, yeah. a little bit more in he's every single high summer. leverage situation. Right. Absolutely. All right. You can hear us every day, guys, from 10 to noon. If this is a this is something you want more of, of course, we're on social media. He's at Gallant says I'm at Sports Vanessa. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon. Peace. I know we're all basic and that's what we all like, but like be original. A lot of your profiles, though, are that f-ing basic. So that's, that's what bad. women say. Oh, my God. It's like the key to my heart is pizza. Next time we go out drinking, I will redownload it and you can you can just play and you can have me. mine, too, because we need to make sure we're standing out, Paul. Oh, yeah. So that we can get somebody and then get bored with them and then want them back when we dump them. Okay, good.